In this video, we are going to break down the most recent housing market data for Denver Metro. My name is Cameron McClellan. I'm the owner of Colorado Team Real Estate. And if you're thinking about buying a home or selling a home, or you have some investments, maybe you're a homeowner and you just want to know what's going on in the market, this video is for you. So what I'm going to do is share my screen and we're going to jump into all of the most recent data from the end of the year in 2022. And I'm going to tell you what to expect as we move through 2023. So right now, the number of active listings is just above 8,600. This is pretty good for the last couple of years while we've been in this pandemic market. However, pre-pandemic market, this is much lower. This should be somewhere, um, you know, about double really is what we would see prior to 2020. So still not a whole lot of homes for sale compared to what a normal Denver market is. Some of the biggest news out there right now is our close to original list price ratio. So what this does is it says, how much is a buyer paying in comparison to the asking price? So if I've got a home for sale for a million bucks or maybe for 500,000, buyers on average are paying 4% less than the asking price. Now you can see here earlier this year when things were going wild, or sorry, last year in 2022, buyers were paying 5% over the asking price. Now they're paying 4% under. Last month when it closed out, it was at 95.9%. And so what this means is as a buyer, you've got a lot more negotiation power than you have any time really in the last 10 years here in Denver. I've never seen it this low. So great time to be a negotiator. The average sales price last month was 622531 So whenever we kicked off the year, the average sales price was 598000 last year, and it ended at 622000 So we saw this massive surge in the first four months of the year where home values went up $100,000 in 2022. And then as the year went, they've slowly trickled back down. And most of that appreciation that we saw in the first four months, it was almost gone. And home values ended up about $22,000 higher than where they started the year. However, home values are still going down because of all the negotiation that's going on. So we're still in this recessionary market with home values, even though we've had a lot of growth here in the last 12 years. Right now, the median time on market is skyrocketing up. Earlier last year, it was four days on market. Homes came on on Thursday, went under contract on Sunday. That market is gone right now. The median time on market is 31 days. So most homes are sitting on the market for a month. And it's because they're pricing based. Most sellers are pricing based on old data. They're pricing on homes that went under contract back in October or November. And then they closed in December and those values have dropped. And so when they go on market, their pricing is two or three months old. They, don't, they need to get out in front of that. They need to price lower. And so their home sits on the market for a couple of weeks. Maybe they do a price drop, sits on the market for another week. Maybe they do a price drop. And then they finally get in line with what the market will bear for their house. And so we're seeing time on market go up while sellers adjust to what's going on in the market. The months of inventory is at three. So a balanced market is six. That's why I mentioned that we still don't have a whole lot of inventory on the market. And um, so we, we could actually see it double and that would really give us a natural balanced market between buyer and seller. So historically, like right now, sellers still have the upper hand, even though it's starting to favor buyers more. The number of new listings is way down. It's at 4,500 last month, or sorry, 2,900 last month. And so we're just not seeing a whole lot of homes come on market. So the inventory, we can't expect that to go up anytime soon. Number of pending homes last month was 3,761. So what this tells us is that less homes came on the market than what went under contract. So we're going to see even less supply available here in Q1. And the number of sales was 4,398. So again, everything, all the data is telling us there's going to be less supply for buyers to pick from here in January and the February market. And right now, interest rates, they're hovering right around 6.4%. Here's the deal. We're doing the 2-1 buy down with most of our clients right now. So you're actually going down to a 4.42 for the first year. And then the second year, 5.42. And then the third year, it returns to this 6.42 rate. The thing is that we think sometime in the next two years, you'll have the opportunity to refinance into something in the five, hopefully five low fives. So that's the play. Buy it down to 
floor two, and then hopefully refinance within the, in the next couple of years. So, hey guys, I love shooting these videos, but I would love even more to help you get into your dream home. So if this market data helps you or you want to see how it applies to your situation, hit me up and we'll schedule a consultation one-on-one -on -one so that we can find your new dream home.